Hello everyone and welcome! Have you been thinking about getting a bandsaw but couldn't justify the high cost of getting one? Well today we'll be looking at what could be the cheapest bandsaw on the market. I looked online at portable and benchtop bandsaws and the Harbor Freight Bauer 10 amp portable bandsaw came in as the cheapest bandsaw you could buy right now. Aside from being affordable, it has the flexibility of being usable on the go as a portable unit or as a bench top bandsaw when you need a stationary unit. So let's unbox this puppy and see what it can do. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product or tool review video. All right, so let's see what we have here. Let me get this guy out of this covering, which is rather difficult to undo, and I'll be right back. Okay, so when you take out that cardboard covering, this is what you get. You get the case with the bandsaw in it. Now, this is the Bauer bandsaw from Harbor Freight. And if you want to look at this item online, you're looking at item number 64194, 63444, or 63763. So let's open this up and see what we get. And this is what you get, the bandsaw, and nothing more, just the case. Let me pull this out. And this is what you get, the bandsaw, and the storage case, which I just showed you. And this retails for $129.99 normally, but it goes on sale all the time for $99.99. So if you're looking for this, I would suggest waiting for a sale. And check out my Harbor Freight coupon videos or instant saving coupon videos, whatever you want to call them. I put them out almost every couple of weeks and you can check out and see if they come on sale. And also my ITC coupon videos, you can check and see when it's on sale and you can see if you can get that even cheaper because I'm an ITC member and I got this for $86.99 on sale with the ITC membership. So that's one thing you may want to consider. The warranty on this is 90 days like all Harbor Freight things. And you get the bandsaw, but you get no blade. It comes with no blade. So you're going to have to consider you need to get a separate blade. This is the cheapest blade the Harbor Freight carries. So this is the one I got. And this was about $16. So consider that when you buy this bandsaw, whatever the price you pay, you're going to have to add another $15, $16 on top of it. So that is going to be your final pay. So sometimes the cheapest item comes out to be a bit more expensive later on because it doesn't bring some things that you're going to need in the long run. And that's one of the reasons when I do tool reviews, I always point out to you guys what brings accessories and what doesn't because the accessories can actually drive down the price of the unit that you're buying at that time or the lack of accessories or batteries or chargers or whatever it may be can actually drive up the cost of the item that you're looking at. So always keep that in mind, that's what a smart shopper will do. Now this guy right here has a 10 amp motor and it does have a variable speed trigger. You see the variable speed right up here. And the cutting capacity on this is five inches by five inches, five by five. That is your capacity of what you can cut. Now the dimensions on this, this is not a small puppy. That's why I'm shooting this in a different angle. This is actually 20 inches in length 12 and a half inches in width and nine inches in height. So it's quite big. And even though on their website, it says it is a lightweight unit, I personally do not consider 16 pounds to be lightweight. So it is a big boy. You need both hands to be able to pick this puppy up. So keep that in mind. It is not a small lightweight unit. And the blade size on this, in case you're gonna buy the blades for this, is 44 and 7 eighths inches by one half inches. So if you happen to have one of those already on hand because you had another saw that took the same blade, then you can consider saving yourself the money. You don't need to buy a blade. The speed on this is 420 SFPMs maximum, which stands for surface feet per minute. So it's calculating how much it actually travels across the uh, cutting area right there. So 420 SFPM, that way you can use it to reference against other saws you may look at. All right, so that's pretty much an intro into the saw itself. What can it do? How good is it at cutting? That's what we're going to be doing next. 
And one of the things to keep in mind as far as this saw goes is that you can use it as a portable unit like this, which basically handheld, you can take it anywhere and cut anything you want to cut, whether it's wood, metal, whatever you're gonna cut, or you can attach it to your bench and there's a lot of fancy mounts that you can either buy a mount for it or you can make one yourself and you could use it as a stationary unit instead of having a big bulky bandsaw that sits on the bench or on the floor. So let's get to some cutting and see what it can do. All right, so let's start off first by installing the blade on this puppy. And what you need to do is, first of all, this is the blade tensioner right here. And you just pull it in one direction or the other. There's a label right here. And it tells you to tighten or to loosen which way to go. So to loosen it, we go this way. And to give you an underside view, this is what you're doing with this handle up here. You're loosening it so you can put the blade on. So let's put the blade on. And this package comes with two blades. Obviously put the blades with the serration with the teeth pointing down this way, this way, so that you can cut later. and you need to get it in here between these rollers. So you can see right there how you need to get it in between the rollers at the bottom. So once you have it set up in there, make sure you push it all the way down to the bottom. And then you just tighten it up on the handle on top. And there we go. We should be ready to start cutting. Okay guys, here's a quick shot of it for you, mounted in my vise. That way I'm showing you that if you don't want to go to the trouble of making a stand for it or buying a stand for it, you can just stick it in the vise just like I did right here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, here's another shot of it mounted on my vise. You can see exactly what I'm doing. It'll make it easier as far as for demonstration purposes. You know exactly how handheld looks. I may cut something like that handheld in a moment, but for right now, let's start with it in the vise. So that gives you a full look. We're gonna pull you in a little closer so you can get a better look of the cutting in a moment. But a couple things to point out. First of all, the trigger back here does not have a lock to it. So you need to find a way to lock it down so that it will go. It has no way to lock it, so the minute you let go, it will stop on you. Uh, of course, you can always get a foot pedal, or I have found one of these little guys is really, really cheap at the 99 cent store. You can see the price right there. And this is like a foot pedal. Basically, it's an on-off switch. You just put it on the floor, stomp on it, and it goes on and off when you need it to do that. So you can always use one of these if you want to use something inexpensive instead of an expensive foot pedal. And another thing to point out, this has a little table, kind of a ledge right here that you can put things on when you're going to be cutting. Like if you want to put something on it, you just kind of mount it on there and slide it in through there. So as far as the trigger goes, I may just use a zip tie to make it easy right now. All right, guys, so we're going to do some cutting right now of different materials, wood, metal, stuff like that, and see how it handles it. And we're going to do it mounted up on the vise for right now. So let's get started.
Okay guys, so there you have it, a detailed demonstration of the Harbor Freight Bauer 10 amp band saw. Is it a good saw? I think it is good enough for the money. Is it the cheapest saw available? Well, that depends on when you buy it and if you get a good discount like I did using my Inside Track Club membership. Is it a saw that you should buy? Well, I'm not here to sell you guys anything. I only demonstrate what is available and let you guys decide for yourself which products are best for you and which ones are not. So only you can answer the question, is it the saw that you should buy? I personally think it's a decent saw for the money, and if you have detailed cuts that you need to make on metal or wood, this is a good saw for those projects. But keep in mind, it is big, bulky, and noisy, so take that into consideration when making your decision. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.